Yes. I look and my mother looks mm -hmm. and has the complexion of a look that is maybe similar okay. to a lot of the mothers of my children. Okay. You know, there's been a lot of conversations where they talk about, you know, my mother and Mariah. Okay. Do they look similar in complexion? They, 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 yes. They, okay. Okay. They, they look like they cut from the same cloth. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. And, and, and various, if, if we're just talking about complexionism, psychologically, would you think that maybe is that more of the reason? It that definitely I'm plays to, a role. Because you know, I was going to ask you yeah. earlier in this uh, conversation, uh, do you feel that your mother or grandmother right. could have influenced your taste in women? Right. Because our mothers do influence us. Yeah. Right. Hey, folks, welcome back to the messy sweet spot, the only place where we get down to the nitty gritty of celebrity gossip. And today, oh, today we're diving into the whirlpool of controversy that is Nick Cannon's love life. Yeah, Nick Cannon sat down with Dr. Omar and boy, did they stir the pot talking about why Nick's got a lineup of baby mamas who are mostly mixed or not African-American. Nick's throwing around excuses, saying he's attracted to women who remind him of his mom and Mariah Carey. Come on, Nick, really? People are screaming from the rooftops, Nick, your mom is black, and they're calling him out, telling him to just admit he's got a type. That my mother, um, who is of mixed race. Okay. Um, and because I, I was thinking about this when you asked me, mm -hmm. am I, you know, have I been programmed or conditioned? Yes, sir to go after a certain type of woman. If my mother, who is a, a lighter skinned mixed, mixed woman, um, if that was my example as a matriarch, and then even in her mother being of another race, and on my father's side, his mother having, as we all know, because, mm -hmm. and then as we go down our lineage, we all gonna be mixed with something. Mm -hmm. And I know as a, you know, Pan-Africanist, there's, an idea of holding on to the diaspora. Yes, sir. But the African American, and which is a whole different classification, mm -hmm. a, a black person mm -hmm. uh, in America is mixed. Okay. With everything. Right. So for anyone to sit and say, but those mixtures does not take away from the fact you're still African. Hundred percent. Because we're the strongest DNA. Hundred percent. Mm. So if I if, if people say you know again because we're you said you uh, uh, you got a lot of this ideology because you look and see what you came from yes. your mother. Yes. So if yes. I look and my mother looks mm -hmm. and has the complexion of a look that is maybe similar. Okay. To a lot of the mothers of my children. Okay. You know, there's been a lot of conversations where they talk about, you know, my mother and Mariah. Okay. Do they look similar in complexion? They, 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 yes. They, okay. Okay. They, they look like they cut from the same cloth. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. And, and, and various, if, if we're just talking about complexionism, psychologically, would you think that maybe is that more of the reason? It that definitely I'm plays to, a role. Because you know, I was going to ask you yeah. earlier in this uh, conversation, uh, do you feel that your mother or grandmother right. could have influenced your taste in women? Right. Because our mothers do influence us. Yeah. Right. Because my mother happens to be my complexion. Right. In fact, I look more like my mother than any of her other six children. OK. The mother is the first teacher, as we all know. And I said my, my right. mother is, you know, light skin, curly hair, mm -hmm. you know, my her, you know. Right. And she's still with us in the yeah, flesh. Yeah, absolutely. OK. So if I were to have a conversation with your queen mother, I would ask her. Not only does your son possibly prefer women of your complexion because you are his first example of love. Our first love affair is our mother, right? Absolutely. But I would also ask her, is it possible in addition to you simply being uh, his first love affair, spiritually speaking, did you pass down core beliefs to your son as it relates to women and complexion? In other words, was yeah. it purely by example of her existence as your mother? Yeah. Or were there certain beliefs and messages she gave to you and values based on skin tone? Could she have inadvertently transferred some of her beliefs onto you in terms of white is is better or prettier or lighter or, girls yeah, are more? Always, yeah, it's you, you know example, what I mean? probably never had that conversation. Right. But it's just the example of watching what sh she was Right. Assimilating right. to, to, right. Where, to right. the idea of what society right. shows. Us. Right. You know what I mean? As we. This isn't just about Nick Cannon's dating preferences. It's a mirror reflecting society's complicated views on race, identity and who we love. 
And here we are picking apart his love life when maybe just maybe we should be looking at the bigger picture. But hey, what do I know? I'm just here sipping tea, wondering why we're so obsessed with who celebrities choose to love. What do you think? Is Nick in denial or is it his right to have a type without being dragged through the mud? Don't forget to smash that like button, share this rant with your gossip loving friends and hit subscribe to the messy sweet spot for more juicy celebrity insights. Until next time, keep reveling in the mess.